lever and then they're supposed to, it's not supposed to come out till you pull the lever. Well, apparently our lever was defective on this brand new freaking RV. And actually, we didn't set it up correctly. I know. I don't think we put the tube on first. But still, the lever still should have stopped have it. It wasn't open yet, so we didn't know what we were even doing. And we had no, a tube. Tyson, we didn't have a tube. No, yeah, we, no did. we didn't have that weird device, you know, that extra thing. Yeah, but that's just an extra blockage, which you don't, that's just like a backup that we now put Which our dogs stoppage. chewed. They just chewed the handle, but it still works. Yeah, so. Yeah. So. They chewed our The RV. thing was supposed to stop the black tank. This thing didn't stop it. So as I pulled the lever, it comes shooting out like projectile <laughs> vomiting from a T-Rex, like so blasting all over me. 27 gallons because the black tank was full to the brim. You have a, a sensor that tells you 100%. It was 100% full. So 27 gallons of our glorious <laughs> piss exploded all over me on our first RV show. You know. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never you know give I'm going to take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never so let me break. break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up. I ain't never you know give I'm going to take, take, taking that crown from you. I What's up, freaks? Welcome back to the Brain and Psycho Podcast. That's cute. <laughs> oh, here we go. Anyways, <laughs> today we are going to be discussing why humor is important and how to t- take things less seriously in your life. Yeah, because you, sure. you guys take shit so seriously, yeah, that's t- why. And as you know, our jokes on this channel are just amazing and it's extremely, almost... Extremely, extreme knee slappers. Knee yeah. slappers. And it's irresistible to laugh. And speaking of jokes... I'm going to start with jokes because you two start with jokes the last two seasons or episodes or Do you know how weeks. rude it is to... So I'm going to start with a joke this time. All right, let's see. What is the joke? Let's get the timer going. All right, joke. I am orange and I sound like a parrot. An orange parrot. Parrot? That's like saying it's parrot. That's like saying the acronym for freak. The F stands for freak. That's the same as saying that. that, that if you guys remember? Oh, nine. And it's not pa- it's not parrot. It, it, it's not parrot. It's, it's parrot. parrot. It's a parrot, not a pure. A pure it like a pe- like a pear. Parrot. Four. I'm not sorry. I was counting while you were doing that. Porrit. Three. Like porridge. Two. Porridge. Yeah, you waste all your time by babbling. I'm singing. Zero. Can you do the honors for me and ding yourself? <laughs> All right, so I'll give a hint. It sounds like parrot. The word sounds like parrot. The word, Rick is going on here. The word sounds like parrot. Carrot. Carrot. It, it's a carrot, not a curate. It's a By carrot. You two talk like hillbillies. I'm not a hillbilly. Anyway, and guess who raised us? I, and I, I'm not a hillbilly. I don't know where you got the hillbilly voice. I just from. realized. All right, let's do this. What'd you realize? That in two in two years, I'm gonna be considered a Californian person. Deep, deep, uh, deep. Poor oh, you. I'm a, poor you. Poor me. In one right, year, so I'll be considered a Californian. I got about, I don't know, several decades. That's actually <laughs> true. All right. So let's, we're talking about humor. We're talking about why is humor important to you in your life? Like in general and just in life in general. Why is it important to you, Midge? Humor important to you or just laughing, having fun, talking crap, just humor in general, having a sense of humor. Why is it important to you in life, Midge? I'm recording to my up my notes. You have a microphone that if you hold over here, it's no longer a microphone. It's just a thing or a magical wand. Humor is very important because, to me, because if you're always so stiff and you never laugh, then you can actually tend to lose sight and grip on fun memories. Uh, it can also, like, s- suspend you from creating new ones. According to like multiple studies, laughing actually. She relieves, always has to get all nerded out on us. According to laugh, multiple laughing studies, laughing actually relieves stress. Being very serious all the time can also make us have weaker bonds with our loved ones and friends because we can't express ourselves enough. Jesus. Jesus. Well spoken, huh? That's some deep shit right oh my there. God. What right. did you just say? Swear Subscribe God. for oh another God. dollar. If you dollar? think. <laughs> a dollar? What the hell's a dollar? If you another think day, that was, another dollar. If you think that was well said, either like or subscribe. Thanks. Well, one of our two viewers, please. All right. So, Tyson, what is, why is humor and having a sense of humor important 
in your life. And you can't just say same. And according to the studies, as Mitch said, it, it lessens stress. I searched that up, and it it actually does lessen stress, and it also lessens We've depression. We've experienced it ourselves. Depression and anxiety, and just improves your overall mood. And, and positivity. It, yes, and just smiling. Just smiling. Just smiling improves your emotional and mental health. And I laugh every day. I talk crap every day. And I maybe talk Extremely. crap too much. A bit. A bit. A tad. A bit too a much. Tad. But I, I, I love laughing. And it's just and Because we fun. talk shit all throughout the day. People like uh, that Especially see me, the, see like a couple seconds on the internet of me doing whatever, doing the programs, doing they think that it's just all sort of like we just Grr. have fun and talk shit like and, and joke around literally all day long, even when we're working, even when we're working like. That's for me. What does it mean? Like to me, having a sense of humor and being sarcastic and like screwing around, joking around, talking shit. It's like a freaking superpower of mine. Swear jar. I almost said language children. I almost said it's an effing superpower. It's like a superpower to me. Like I could be in any situation, no matter. And maybe, maybe it started. No, probably started in childhood from having like it was either like, all right, you're either gonna go run away and bash your head against a wall or just like laugh about how stupid this like world and life is. So it's in the military too, like the worst job you had, the shittier job you had to do for that day. Like if you're doing some stupid training, you're like, why are we doing this? The way you dealt with it, it's we by just laughing about it, laughing and talking shit and joking around and probably getting in trouble because you're not taking it, because you're not taking it, taking it lightly because it's just like whatever. So it becomes like a superpower and it helps me now as an adult in business and in life, being a, a, a entrepreneur, we do homeschooling and running businesses, and we've had tons of biz, different businesses in the past. It makes you deal with, like you said, and that's exactly what I wrote. And I didn't do any look up any research. I just know from experience dealing with stress, but also dealing with stress and dealing with struggle, and also dealing with slow times. Entrepreneur, you're gonna have ups and downs nonstop. Like that's the ride of an entrepreneur. You could have slow it's a roller weeks. Coaster. You could have slow weeks, slow months where you you don't make as much money as you did, or things aren't going your way. And different programs you start fail. Stop shaking your snow cone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it makes you get through. Like even you'll laugh about it. I am the type of person that will be laughing at someone's funeral. At someone's funeral. Why would you steal my stuff when you know when I'm gonna say that? You're stealing oh, my shit. Because I know your stuff. You're stealing my shit. Like, I don't even need to be here. I'll just go out in the other room. What? No. But I'm the type that will talk shit at someone's funeral. Like, make a joke. And it might even be inappropriate. Dark humor. Inappropriate. inappropriate. <laughs> Dark, but... I can't even imagine you know what, what you'd say. You need to lighten up. Like, that's what's going to get you through it and make you, like, the dude is dead and you can't do anything about it. Like, let's not... Let's bounce back from this and not take... Would not you be, want Not him? let it drag us down and be overly depressed of course you're sure gonna grieve or whatever but you need to learn to find the the funny side find the bright side and find the upside and not take shit too serious not take yourself too serious not even take business yeah you want to take business serious obviously you have to you have to be obsessed and whatever else but not too serious where it just makes you this like stiff tightwad like douchebag like asshole like no damn it swear jar times two this is supposed to be a two. what is wrong with you this must be a kid's show like, but exactly. like, also like, say it was at a funeral. Do you think that person? Do you think they want you to be? Of course, they want you to remember them. But do you think they want to be negative about it the rest of their lives? Deal. At my funeral, all I want, and hopefully I'm gonna music. die. Hopefully I'll die before yeah. you people, or we're all I don't know, we'll all die together or something. But at my funeral, I'm assuming I'll die before you guys. I want it to just be. All you're gonna do is talk like a shit. Party? You're gonna talk shit. You're gonna tell jokes. You're gonna tell stories. Like. For what are you going to be grieve about? We live an awesome life. We've lived an awesome of life. Of course, I'm going to be sad when you die. But. Uh, well, yeah, that too. But it, it, should, it should be like you are just going to tell your funny stories like these stories we're talking about now today. Like this is what it should be like at a funeral, at least my funeral. That's where I want it. So deal? Can we have a deal? Yeah. yeah. Deal. Of course. Yeah. And like Tyson said, um, just smiling can make it can improve your mood. So like even like- All right, I'm going to smile right now. Haha, do uh -huh, very it? funny. Am I doing it? <sighs> I think I just shit my pants trying to smile. Again? What did you, what do you mean say? again? <laughs> what do you mean again? What does that laugh? I did, <laughs> I did shit my pants a couple times when I was a little kid. Oh. <laughs> what, you guys gonna say last week? <laughs> <laughs> he smiled! Uh, the sun it's is reflecting like in my eye. It's more like a grin. It's a grimace. 
<laughs> All right. No, but like, like Tyson said, just smiling can improve your mood or someone else's mood. Like, say you like you're out in public, like me when I'm out in public with you guys or something. Like, if I see somebody who seems like it looks like they're having like in, they're in a bad mood or something, if they see me, just sometimes smiling at them can improve their day. It'll like show them that somebody out there is positive. So you two are just all you two are trying to do right now is spread positivity. No, you're trying to plead your case for when this we're done recording this episode because you're like, oh, we're talking about humor, so it's gonna make everything all. Because before this episode, you two were Uh-oh. freaking nightmare setting this up. That we had to true. record like five times going around there because we have the camera set up what? where if you put, hope this doesn't stop it. I don't even want to put my hand up. I'm afraid to. On, on the phone, if you put your hand up, it starts a recording for us so we all could be sitting here and no one has to hit the button. And these two kept screwing around, accidentally setting off the recording things. So we had to go and reset it like 10 times. And then they d- didn't change their shirt and screamed out, Oh, oh yeah. cut! I didn't we were like in the middle shirt. of recording. What did your shirt even say? I got your back. Ha! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Exactly. <laughs> what for that and what? Also, what do you mean? We, we were in total... It was a oh, yeah. We were in the middle, we were like in the middle of recording an episode, show. and I'm like, God. yeah. We we were doing this episode. We we're like a few minutes in. We did the whole beginning, and out of nowhere, he just screams the loudest shit to microphone, God. deafening us. God, oh, you forgot to change my shirt. Like the two fans out there care that we didn't change your they damn shirt. Like you normally don't change your shirt for like a, a three is- four days anyway. So what's what the difference? The- what the? We gave away your dirt secret. <laughs> deserves one for saying that all cut. right so now we talked about what and i want to i want to hear what is a funny story i'm gonna start with this one <gasps> a funny story that you could think of yeah. and i want i want it i could tell you funny stories like other ones that don't involve you and that's fine i'm actually doing a whole nother episode on humor and bedros and i did one about only funny stories that happened in the project but here's one that you both were there for when we got an rv we got our first rv about a year and a half two I years this one. two years ago now probably and our very first trip, we were going to Texas and we were in like Arizona or New Mexico, our first time ever going into a the one of those RV parks. And we don't know shit about it. Like we watched some YouTube videos to buy this RV. We don't and you, I remember at the RV sales place, you were like trying to sell the Lamar. Oh, this the is the chassis. I just, yeah. This I do. is the Mercedes we chassis. Knew it, we knew enough of the wording just to get a good deal and to, to haggle down the price and all that, but really how to operate it, no effing clue. So we get to the place. What does the brakes do? We have to figure out how to do the electrical, how to do the plumbing, and this and that. But to my defense, we kind of set it up right-ish. We did, and it it wasn't working. Yeah, the the lever was not working. There's supposed to be a stop on a black tank. If you have an RV and don't know what a black tank is, it's like a 27... This one has a 27-gallon tank that holds all your toilet water. Toilet water, not like your shower water and sink water. That goes to your gray tank. Your black tank is just straight raw black. sewage. All your shit and piss that just goes into a thing. A swear jar. Oh, my God. That's already four. And we, we are laying in cash, that's, homie. That's four dollars. 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 Oh God. And so you, dollars. you you put the tube on or whatever, and then they're supposed to, it's not supposed to come out until you pull the lever. Well, apparently our lever was defective on this brand new freaking RV. And actually, we didn't set it up correctly. I know. I don't think we put the tube on first. But still, the lever still should have stopped have it. It wasn't open yet, so we didn't know what we were even doing. And we no, had a Tyson, tube. we didn't have a tube. No, yeah, we, did. no we didn't have that weird device, you know, that extra thing. Yeah, but that's just an extra blockage, which you don't, that's just like a backup that we now put in Which the our dogs chewed. They just chewed the handle, but it still works. Yeah, so. Yeah. So. They chewed our The RV. thing was supposed to stop the black tank. This thing didn't stop it. So as I pulled the lever, it comes shooting out like projectile shit vomiting from a T-Rex, like so blasting all over me. 27 gallons because the black tank was full to the brim. You have a, a sensor that tells you 100%. It was 100% full. So 27 gallons of our glorious shit and piss exploded all over me on our first RV ship. Like It got on, on my shin, too. On your shin? On my shin. What an honorable mention. That stuff was all over my shirt, my shorts. My legs were dripping and gooping. Like, look at this leg hair. Imagine it all gooped eh. inside that leg hair and all over the no place. thanks. And then it went, obviously, it hit yuck. me and went all over the so ground. It was like a yuck button. It went all over the ground, so now we have it all over our- It was like nighttime, and we didn't want the owners of the RV park to find out because they so were- we, So we moved to a different- all over, We're not saying it's any all names, over the but ground. Uh, 
all over the ground and we didn't know what to do. So we had to like get some help with it afterwards and they moved us to a different spot. But it was all really, we had to deal with it that night because no one could help us till the next day. And we had to deal with the smell of in the ground, like soaking in. It was in the summertime. It was like July in New Mexico, like a hundred and something degrees humid and the air conditioner wasn't working for a little while because we've also oh, burned that out we somehow the generator, the generator we didn't know how to use I mean, it exactly bought a couple walmart air conditioners like space air conditioners and they both broke that didn't work and so i'm covered Fun in shit trip. and it's steamy and now it's stinky and we our whole lot is filled up with this shit water and i'm covered with it and what could you do and other my, than um, and my shin was laugh about it. it it's either laugh about it or i don't even know what to do so from it today. was just laugh about it all we could do is just laugh at it and then we actually one of my oh it's not one of my movies but the movie rv i didn't put that as one of the funniest movies but are the movie rv the exact same like, thing happens. that was so funny like literally everything happens in that movie when it rv went to the lake Happened to us in everything. Besides in the, the RV. RV falling off like a mountain, and then and, a day and then a day and later, I, and day later we crashed the top of the RV and smashed the whole cabin on the We're top. We're not saying where on a on a over a, a like a, it must have hit something in the middle of the night. We didn't even know it, and it yeah. was like cracked crashed in the top. It was like you can't 15, say where we don't even know where fifteen it was. twenty thousand dollars worth of damage, and. So that all happened on the first RV trip. All you could do is laugh at, we still finished off the trip, we went to New Mexico, we went to, what was the one in New Mexico we went to? Roswell. Roswell, New Mexico. The and then there was a thunderstorm, and now we have a hole in the roof of the RV, the shit tank was all screwed up, we had to get a, a device <laughs> from Amazon Prime to go deliver to a 7-Eleven, they have these lockers in 7-Eleven to get this device to help block it, this shit from happening again. And so that we came had to get two some tarps later. and tape And then we had to get tarps to tape to the top of the roof, like it was literally a shit show. Language. There's my story. There's what's your Tyson? Presents. What's your story? Okay, my story. This is actually a 24-hour challenge that happened last year in March. The 24-hour PFT challenge, and I, it it's pretty funny what happened. So we go through the challenge. We're like it's six or seven a.m. We're we're almost it's done. Like 18 hours in, about. Yeah, 18 hours in. And it's and you never stayed up for an entire challenge. You never stayed awake for a full challenge at that up to that point. Oh yeah, up to you that never point. did. That not, challenge. not even, not even. And that challenge, you didn't stay awake either. I yeah. Think. So it's six or seven a.m. and I, my, you tell me you should go go get some long pants because it's freezing outside. So I decide, okay, whatever. I don't really like wearing long, long pants. So I go, so I go upstairs into my room, and I trip. There's like this, like, I don't know, like a dresser thing, and I trip on it. I fall onto the ground, and I. I wake up or not no, realizing what do you mean you wake up? You said I fall on the ground and I wake up. Were you like knocked unconscious? I fell on the ground and I was going to get up but you until... Said, you said I fell on the ground and I woke up. What? So, yeah, I fell on the ground. I blink my eyes and I wake up. Ricky is next to me. My phone is on the ground. I wake up, realize that I don't have my long pants on and it's 7.30 a.m. So I tripped and I actually fell asleep for an hour until I luckily right. woke up. Do you think you you didn't get you weren't knocked unconscious Ricky, right? No, you didn't I, fall and hit your head. You I were just, just exhausted fell, because we were up running and, and doing push-ups for eighteen hours. Fell asleep. Ricky was next to you. Yeah, Ricky. I, was I next never to knew you. that part. So you literally fell asleep. That is actually this just happened yet last night again. We were doing a, a mini freak night. We we had some projects to work on, so we stayed up pretty late, to like twelve or one. And we played little games to finish it off at the end of the night. Until That's like what freak nights is. Work out for, like, I mean, work, work for like one work and a half, two hours, and then take like an hour break. And so we work. finished the, the hour of the games or whatever and said, yeah. all right, it's time to go to sleep. And we said, let's go brush our teeth. And you said, all right, I'm just going to lay here and stretch for a second. And then I wake up at 3. Fast forward nine hours No, later. I woke up at 3.30 because I passed out there with you somehow. I woke up at 3.30 on the couch, went upstairs, went to sleep, and you didn't get up to like 9 a.m. or however long a time. time oh, that, that's irrelevant what time I woke up. Irrelevant? It's, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. And you also didn't brush your teeth. Or is that also Damn, irrelevant? snitches. Is that also snitches irrelevant? Snitches end up in ditches. All right, so there's your story. Midge, what story you got? Okay, so mine were going a couple years back. This is a bit, um... Microphone, this, look. Great. So, a couple years back, you two... More than a couple years back. This was like... This was back in our first house in California. You must have been three... You must have been like four or five years old there. No, I I already... This was back in Demacia. 
My fi- I had my f- I had my fifth daddy I had my fifth birthday in New York so I was six or five. There's five no six. way that was a six year old there. That was six. We've been here five. now five years and you're yes, you were five years old. All right. And basically you two were going to jujitsu on your own because I skipped for some reason that day. And the you while you were, so you locked the car door, but you locked the car door when you guys were going in before Tyson closed his door, so it never really locked. You heard something beep, but you were like, whatever, it's just the car lock. It's not my fault. It kind of is. Have you ever heard of, you read the Jocko book, Extreme Ownership? Yes, but it's not my fault. I suggest you read yes, it. Yes, it's not my I fault. I suggest you read it again. You need a little bit of a correction. Continue with your story, please. And basically, you guys went in, and as you got out, you guys realized when you got in, you know, like that center console area? Actually, I actually didn't realize till the next day. Remember, it was the next day. Right, you didn't realize till the next day. So in the center console, there are these like different trays. Like there's different levels of the center console because you have a deep one. <laughs> and basically like this space to like store whatever junk you need, coins and all that stuff. And basically, so all that change was there. There was a couple trays in there. And people actually broke into your truck and took the whole tray with them. And on top was like a multi-tool, a K-bar, and all They that. actually technically didn't break in. They just opened the door. Yeah, they didn't have to break in. They just opened oh, yeah. the door. Because someone left it unlocked. They didn't that have to break in. That is not my fault. I didn't have the key. That is not my fault. And, and you had to rub it in by saying, no, they didn't break it in. They just had to open the door. That's just awesome. And all whose right, door continue. did they go in through? Continue I'm story. betting yours. And so basically, the next day, you brought me to the park because at this time I was still in like kindergarten. So kindergarten finished earlier than Tyson's um, grade did. And basically, you and me were at the park and we were waiting for Tyson to finish school. Then we would go pick him up. And you were doing an Instagram live about how this happened and you just noticed until the next day. And you asked me what I thought about it. <laughs> and so this is the part where it gets funny. I said, well, if... It, like, well, I asked you... What would you think? I, I, no, I said, oh, it would have been so funny. It would have been great if we would have caught the person yeah. doing it because they just were in our car. We were only in the place for a little while, so there's a good chance we could have caught them. So I said, it would have been great if we would have caught them breaking into the car, right? And then you said... So I'm like, well, if you caught them breaking into your car, well, then you would probably know where the knife is because there's like a, the K-bar on the tray that they were stealing or that they stole. And I would be like, you probably know where the knife is. And then you'd probably get the knife. And then you would probably try and cut their heads off. Oh, my God. You would pro- There's a lot of probablys in there. I know. I said probably so much. You would probably try and cut their heads off. But then cut you'd- their heads off? Oh, my God. With a K-bar. That went Depending downhill. Th- I'm then, guessing that then, went downhill real fast. No, and and then, then what? And then I was like, but then you would probably go to the jail for the rest of your life. And I probably don't want that to happen. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah I said, like... I said, yeah, like 15 times. And then I was like, all right, so what should we do about it? Should we just be mad about it? Should we get upset? What should we do about it? And then what'd you say? I said, well, I guess we could just forget about it and go swing on the swings. And I ran away. And we went on the, on the swings. After you told me to that I would have cut someone's head off with the knife and then you're like well let's just forget about going on the swings which was pretty freaking we just watched it we actually have the video of this we just watched it right that's how to not take things so seriously that's how to not take shit so seriously and realize from a five-year-old at the time really realize what really matters it's like okay you lost a watch and a knife and you're thinking about you're you're like considering doing something you're gonna go to jail over a a watch and a knife who cares that both can be replaced like who gives a crap Let's just go swing on the swings. Like in the video, I should post that video again. I think I posted once a couple of years ago. We should post it again. That's pretty funny. We just watched it. Instagram might actually remove right before it we came for on. The explicit content. I know, probably. All right, so let's go. Just wow. Let's go into. Let's finish off with what are your top? We said top three, but I'm gonna go first. I could go. No, next. you're not. I'm gonna go first. I'm going, let's all say number one. You, then I'll you, say you and I because I don't have a number. Like I cheated. It's supposed to be your top three favorite funny movies. These Here. are not in order. I, I have about fifty, so I it's have just too hard. You and you and I have two, one. I one bet we all pick Step Brothers. Anyone pick Step Brothers? Yes. So we all pick Step Brothers. That might be one of the top ones on there. But That's really, definitely it's in my top three. It's Step Brothers, and then really Will Ferrell. I think is probably the funniest actor yeah. ever. And then we actually saw him 
at the Lakers game just yeah. a, couple, a couple months we ago. We were in the same room as Will Ferrell. It actually like held like the same room. It was a the, massive stadium, stadium. Lakers it, stadium. It, it held fifteen thousand people, but it was the same, the room. same room. I was in the same room so, as celebrities. So oh my fourteen thousand. All right, so some of my other ones. Well, my, Will Ferrell's my buddy. I'll give some of my other ones. I didn't even mention that Let's one RV. Will Ferrell, he can watch this and we'll get like billions of The videos. RV movie is funny, but you know which one I thought was funnier than that because it was like similar, kind of reminds me of, is Vacation. Vacation. Vacation, Vacation yeah, is on there, I, which probably most people... Where the Millers was pretty funny That's too. on mine too, Where the Millers. Like, because those are our kind of movies like that we watch together and they kind of, I don't know, we just, they're like road trips and they kind of, they're kind of things that we encounter and come across. So Vacation, I put Where the Millers was on there. Uh for an older ones, I put Friday and Hangover. The Hangover, those are good ones. But then the one, Hangover. There's a whole series that Hangover. I don't know if you guys, maybe you guys probably never watched it. Land of the Lost, I loved. Oh yeah. So anything Will Ferrell, I forgot about Land of the Lost. So anything Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell did Land of the Lost, Holmes and Watson. He did Elf, that one Hard Life or whatever. He's going to prison. Midge, it's not a snow cone. Sorry. Oh no, Get Hard. Get Hard with uh, with Get Hard. The little dude. Oh. Who's it with? Kevin with the Hart. Little dude. Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart. <laughs> with Kevin Hart. Yeah. He was in all the Anchorman movies. Like Anchorman oh was hilarious. Anything, Will, all Will Ferrell's, like almost every one of them. But I think the favorite Will Ferrell movie, I think, was Step Brothers for me. Yeah. Step Brothers. So was, my top well, I'm not three. even done. And then also other ones to add into that were the Bad Dads one that we just saw on old Netflix. Old Dads. That's my number one. Oh, Old Dads? Old so dads. that was freaking funny because it's like just overboard. Norbit is up there. <gasps> Norbit! I Norbit. I bet, I bet you guys forgot these three. That's why I wanted to go first. I bet you forgot some of these. We got to go rewatch yes, them. Norbit. We have all these on Voodoo. I want to watch Norbit. Let's Nor- watch Anchorman. Let's watch Norbit tonight. Today. No- we have Norbit, Little Man, which we just watched recently. Oh Little Man God. was up there. Little Man. And Let's Be Cops was one of our like favorites that we watched in the past. What is wrong with you? I literally went. That's what I did today on my kill time. I just opened up our Voodoo account on my phone. And we're scrolling through. We have like 700 and something movies downloaded on there. That's what we call pathetic. Yeah. Well, I'm, it's called being prepared. It's called, yeah. that was skill time. In my defense, I don't have access to the Voodoo account. Yeah, that's right. Actually, I'm like 10 different TVs in this house and computers. It's not my fault. See if I missed it. <laughs> oh my God. You deserve like seven stuff. doings for that. All right. That. So I named them all. All right. Most of them. All right, what movies did you guys come up with that I didn't add? Maze, go first. Okay, so I have a couple. I took a lot from oh, you because... Just ones that I didn't say. We don't need to repeat the ones because we probably what? had a lot of the same ones. The ones that you didn't say, we both had Step Brothers. That was on my list originally. Uh, kick A. Oh, Kick one Ass. And two. Kick Ass 1 and 2. Oh, I forgot. I didn't put it on here, but that was on my... Uh, with Deadpool. Deadpool. I have my, that on my... Can you stop damn saying Damn it. Those? I just stole yours. And Strays, this funny movie about the really Strays guys. is not a kids Strays movie at all. It is such funny. a bad movie for kids to watch. All these movies are pretty bad. Yeah. yeah but that one especially. That one is like just bad. Anyway. You need to finish watching it. No, you don't. Anyway, go. What else? Uh, Yeah, so the, the, those are all the I ones. I forgot that, about Kick-Ass. I remember Deadpool, but I forgot about Kick-Ass. Yeah, Kick-Ass then, of course, We're the Millers, Land of Lost, Norbit, Let's Be Cops, Little Man, You literally just wrote dads. those down as I was talking. I know. Yes. I just said any... So by me saying just say the ones I didn't say, you copied the ones I said, wrote them down, and then still said them. I guarantee Drawing. you, you well, guys I forgot t- these. All right, let's hear the ones. What do you got, Tyson? That no, and then, listen, we're giving you a list right now because you need to have funny movies. Like, there's times we'll watch movies where we're in a mood if for it. If you haven't watched any of these movies, go and watch. You need them a list again. of these, and this is a we just gave you a, a killer list. So add to add to the comments below. What are some of the list of your funny movies to add? And we could have added more. These are just some of our tops. Of course, there's other ones that these we are liked. like all the yeah, funny movies. There's other ones that we like. There's like action comedies also like like bad boys and stuff rush like that hour. but those rush hour but those like action comedies these are just like straight freaking comedy so what are yours oh they just recently released they're releasing a new bad boys a new new one i think so what we just bad boys? Mom, mom, mom we just saw like an ad that came out like eight years ago here maybe they're just releasing in poland now and they consider it new <laughs> i heard titanic was coming out in poland soon anyway that's what humor is about and talking shit and having fun all right you have the definition of humor. If you search up on Google, what what uh, the definition of humor? It should just say Stevie. Stevie, and you know people wouldn't think that you're lying. They wouldn't understand it because they just see 15 seconds of me cursing someone out and stamping on a desk, which I'm paid to do but anyway. And now ah, you're a pog. <laughs> okay, on. it's actually good that you didn't go to war or if there's a war going right, on. We're not because, about this yeah. Right, Jumanji one and two. Jumanji was yeah, that Jumanji was a good was one. Good. And Rim of the World. <gasps> Rim of the, the World, world was, was pretty funny. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, it was. It was yeah, I didn't those think of those either. Those are some ones that I forgot, but... Jumanji, Rim of the World, those are... And these are all like... If you haven't watched these, go look them up. They're all on like, the Netflix or... Voodoo. What else? My face. <laughs> what else? 
What any that was the only ones you had that none of us came up with? Yeah. So you had you had a lot of the same ones that we had probably. But we just gave you a list of, I don't even know, 12, 15 movies. Now you have comedies to watch. But add down there, I want to see some that you think we maybe haven't seen that we should watch some comedies. Comment down below your favorite funny movie. And you can see it's not like we're not we're talking about any kind of comedies. These aren't exactly necessary kitty comedies, but Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Oh my god. Or like Home Alone or something like that. Home Alone was pretty it was funny. Good, it was a good Home movie. Alone? Yeah, we yeah, liked yeah. Home Alone. But it was more kid friendly. It was more like just a fun movie, not funny. Some of it's funny, but it's yeah. not like some of it's funny. Yeah. It's just like a, a cool movie. Yeah. Uh, but the, but so yeah, there's tons more we could add to the list, but these were our tops, I think, and there's so many, so many freaking funny movies. And we ones agree have. on them. To wrap, and we liked, and we've watched some of them several times, and now we have. Step Brothers is definitely in my top three. How many of these are rated R? Oh my god! I think Room of the World might be Room of the World and Jumanji might be the only ones that aren't rated R. Really, Norbit? You think Norbit? Little Man probably. Little Man is. Let's be cops probably is. Norbit might or might not be. Vacation. Vacation probably wasn't. Vacation, it is. They say some pretty bad stuff. But it's just like maybe I don't know. Maybe where the Millers. Holmes and Watson. Holmes and We're Watson. We're the Millers, definitely, because it has all. Anything Will Ferrell, Ferrell? Almost any. There's a few Will Ferrell ones we haven't even watched yet, but Elf. Elf, Elf is definitely one. Elf. Elf was Elf kind of funny. There. Yeah, Elf is still funny. Will Ferrell. All right, the spaghetti. I think that wraps it up. Yeah, we can sit here and talk about it all day. So put your comments down below. What movie? What are your funny movies that and you think we should watch? And comment your favorite actor. And who your some your favorite com, com, comedy actors are? Comedians, yeah. And this is the whole point of the show: is to not Will take Ferrell. shit so lightly. Not take life so seriously, not take anything so seriously so that you are just having, not forgetting the F word, the second most important F word in the world, fun. Having some more fun with having sense of humor, talking some shit and freedom and freak and all that good stuff. All right, so let's take them home on the humor episode. So if you guys think we are humorous people... Or if you guys don't think we're humorous people, please click that subscribe button down and below. And like the video, click the notifications bell and turn on all of your notifications so you never miss out on any future videos. We upload not just BGC, but everything else. And also, also comment your favorite actor, your favorite movies, and what movies you think we should watch. And yeah. anything else you have to say. And in case no one told you yet today, you're freaking awesome. And no, no excuses. excuses. We are humorous people. So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you, I ain't never So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up